Lighting the way. New update. Let's go. So first things first in the new update, we have Tutorial Island. Everyone will be prompted to start the tutorial when they first spawn this month. If you're a long-term player, feel free to decline the tutorial, and we won't ask you about it again. Once the player starts the tutorial, they will be uh, respawned on a dedicated island, or an NPC will guide them through the first half hour of gameplay. <clears throat> the tutorial itself should take less than 30 minutes. Okay. And then we have the vendor UI uh, revamp, which is kind of cool. And then nightlight. Today I'm addressing an issue. We often hear from the Rust community navigating the game during nighttime. Oh yeah, so it just gives like a little bit of light just like around the player. I like that. That's a good change that they actually did. Cool. Yeah, let's go get a good start in right now. I think that I'm going to be starting with BPs. The entirety of last month, I was just restarting BP-wise over and over pretty much, so... Yeah, dude. It looks like this is your first time playing Rust. Do you want to play a short tutorial to learn some of the survival basics? You can always start the tutorial later from the options menu. Yeah, sure, let's start the tutorial. Let's go. Oh. Yep, it's tutorial time. Okay, so we have this guy right here. Mysterious survivor. Hey, are you okay? It seemed like... That turbulence appeared out of nowhere. Our helicopter is destroyed. Okay, so we're already starting out. Like, <laughs> I think I hit my head, dude. Just take it easy. You'll feel better soon. If we're going to survive here, we're going to need some tools. Are you up for that? I'd offer my, uh, to help, but my leg is all kinds of busted. Sure, I'll see what I can find. Maybe try getting some wood and making a hatchet. We're going to need to chop some of these trees down to make a shelter. Okay. Yeah, guys, let's uh, let's see what the Rust tutorial is. Already, we're interacting with an NPC that has, like, the most unique look in the entire game. You're never going to see anything that looks like this around the Rust map. All right, let's start hitting this tree. Hit the red X to harvest the tree faster. Oh, well, thanks. All right, I got the 400 wood, buddy. Don't worry. Actually, no, 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 no. I need stone now. I need stone. All right. We're good, we're good. Uh, let's return over here to the survivor. I wonder if they're ever going to make the NPCs talk in this game. Alright, nice work. This is a good start. I'm a crafting god! Let's not get too carried away. We, we still need to build some shelter if we're going to get out of here. Okay, how do I do that? You'll need to craft a building plan and make a small building. Maybe just to my right. Be sure to place floors, walls, and a doorway. Remember to use your hatchet if you need more wood. One building coming up. Yeah, apparently this uh, tutorial thing doesn't take any more than like 30 minutes. It should take like 30 minutes even if like you're brand new to the game, so. I would assume it's not going to take us that long. Alright, let's start making a building plan right now. I like on how there's not a hammer option. What the heck? Okay, so they're making you build it right here. Okie dokie. You know, let's just play the tutorial and then we can get in, uh, get onto the server and just do what we learned in the tutorial. Alright, that looks great. Just need a few more pieces to make it a, a home. A tool cupboard, a sleeping bag, and a door. Wait, what's a door? Did you hit your head? It would keep things out of the shelter, like dangerous animals. Any more questions? Uh, yeah, no, I'm ready to keep building. Alright, Buster. Alright, we're making a door and a key lock. Let me go over here and get the stuff for a TC. I'm wondering if the tutorial island is going to give me a, uh, a paddle. And then they're going to tell me, okay, so with this thing, you don't actually really use it with a kayak much. You just go to safe zones and play as cheaply as possible. Alright, let's cut down that tree. I like how the trees fall down faster in the tutorial. Oh shit, this guy gave me my wood. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, wait. Wait. Let me unlock this real quick. Never mind. Okay, so the bag will go down right there, and then... Wait, I didn't even put down the tool cupboard yet, and it's already... Wait! I can't even... Alright. I don't... I don't understand, but alright. Well, time to start upgrading our tc list base. I don't know, it's like me taking the lock off this door interfered with that whole TC thing. Like, it messed up the tutorial. Alright, we're all done there. Cool. Still can't place... Oh, wait. A tool cupboard. Fill your tool cupboard with supplies for 24 hours. Return to the survivor. I can't place down the freaking thing. What do you expect from me? And I don't want to restart the tutorial, but I really don't think that we have another option. Oh, my God. Dude, what is happening right now? 
I'm a crafting god. What's a door? It's a door. Oh yeah, yeah. You guys see that right there? The key lock thing right there in the middle of the door? That's why I took it off to begin with, because it's like, what is it doing there? Like, okay. Like, sorry that I am a silly little goose, I guess, but... Yeah, yeah, here, let's do every... Okay. So far, this bag and TC placement, when it comes to building in this game... Let's just say the, the best builders in the game would not come close to approving with this. Thankfully, Jack has some wood for me. This guy's name is going to be Jack. Alright. Guess who has a base, guys? Guess who has a base? This guy. Alright. So, craft a hammer, unset, upgrade the base to wood using the hammer. I just now did that. Oh my god, dude. Upgrade the base to wood using the hammer. It's literally saying... Oh my god. I'm going to rage quit from this tutorial. Like, I'm going to have to restart again. This guy has the camo pants and boots. Okay, so yeah. Let's just promote the most broken clothing and armor in the game that people hate through the tutorial, okay? Yeah, I'm going to restart again, and I'll see you guys when I get back to this point. <laughs> Make the failure sound effect for me, just real quick. Okay, you don't have to ear rate me, game. Hey, are you okay? It seemed like the turbulence... Shut up! Oh my god, I'm actually doing this for the third time. Make the tools. All right, nice work. This is a great start. Yeah, I know. I'm a crafting god. All right, craft a building plan. Okay, not a hammer. Not, do not click this. Whatever you guys do, don't click this or the TC if you have the wood. Do not do that. Okay, return to the survivor. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot to ask you. Uh, what is a door again? Done. Okay. Now, what's the next step? What do we got here? Fill your tool cupboard with supplies for 24 hours. Okay, I'll just put everything in there. Uh, return to the survivor. Alright. Nice work. This really feels like a home. I don't know about you, but I think all this work has given me an appetite. Maybe it's time we find something to eat. You'll need a spear for hunting and a campfire to cook your prey. Okay, wait. A spear? A spear can be used in melee range or thrown. You can probably handle the chickens without throwing a spear, though. Alright. Ah! Dude, we are surviving. The sun's about to go down. We're going to have the most beautiful sunset. Me and this dude are going to start making out on the spot. Just out of no I'm joking. All right, Survivor, I'm coming over here as my base is just left open. That's better. I'll have some of the leftovers. Wait, did you hear that? Hear what? Oh! The sound of a murderous bear. That was so stupid. <laughs> wow, that bear got you good. Lucky you put down that sleep bag. Yeah, I know. It's funny on how the bear didn't fuck with you. You know, it's that's that's funny. <clears throat> well, how can I fight back to the bear? You'll need a bow, some arrows, and some clo and some clothing to protect yourself. Also, maybe some bandages in case things go wrong. In case things go wrong, you know, uh, mauling. There's not like a gun left from this helicopter crash or anything. None of that survived. It all burned away. Okay. Oh no, dude. Does this bear move? Oh my god. Oh my god, dude! What bear, are you gonna fucking run away? Oh no, you're not gonna. You're not gonna. Alright. Oh! What the fuck was that? How did I just now get hit? Okay. All right, I yeah, know that's the perfect way to show bears in this game. All right, they did, they got that right. And I just now harvested a bear, and I got no leather or bone frag, so good job to Rust by just not including that part. And I also got 97 animal fat from using a stone pickaxe. It's not even showing you like the like the amount of stuff that you actually get from the game. All right, Jack, what's going on here? You're alive. That's great. Surprising, but great. Wait, what did you think would happen? Let's not dwell on it. Now that we're safe, it might be time to think about getting off this island. My leg is badly hurt. You might need to go without me and send back help. It should be pretty straightforward. You'll need to make a furnace, then a workbench, then a kayak and a paddle. Okay, so the paddle's coming in, but it's only for a kayak. Let's not freak out, guys. Let's not freak out. Remember to come and see me if you have any questions. I'll get to work. Let me go be an adult. And I have yet to shut my door, Jack. You have not told me to do it yet, so I'm not going to do it. Alright, furnace inside this base, yeah, let's just put it down right there to make sure that, like, when we want to, like, work on our base and stuff, it's in the way of placing a wall there. I really like that. 
I just got 156 scrap from three barrels. What is this game trying to teach me? Let's get over here. Let's make a kayak right now. And let's get a paddle going. I am crafting a paddle right now, but it's... Calm down, okay? I'm not going to the dark side. Paddles are completely okay to use on a, on a kayak. I am not against that. Completely okay. And if this fucking tutorial tells me hit barrels with it, I swear to God. Are you going to be okay here or what, Jack? What's... Don't worry about me. With that chicken you cooked and no imminent bear threats, I should be fine. The sooner you leave, the better, though. Okay. I'm, I'm taking... Jack, I'm taking your chicken. Um... Yeah, fuck you. I'm taking all the food. I'm taking all the food with me, pal. You have fun out here. I'll leave you some animal fat that you could drink. Uh, or low grade. You know, some people like to drink their low grade. I know a couple people. Let's go ahead and uh, place this down. Boom. There we go. We have to go and get stuff for Jack. He's going to be over there sitting with his broken ankle with no food to survive. And honestly, I might just run. I might just make a run for it. Oh. What game am I playing? We need a single player mode ASAP. I'm ready to play the campaign. Wait, is that the whole tutorial? Is that it? Jack is just fucked for life? Okay. Kind of a unique ending, I guess. I mean, alright. And this right here is the new nighttime. Ooh, okay. I mean, I, I like it. You know, it's still kind of the same thing as before. You just get to see around you a little bit, which I, you know, it's better than nothing. And by the way, to any new players that learn how to play this game through the tutorial island, I, I'm wishing you nothing but the best. Oh, nice. They actually added symbols on the side of the barrels now, too. Cool. I remember when these new barrel skins came out, I was thinking, like, it's probably a good idea to have, like, some symbols on the barrels still, because they didn't have symbols on them like they used to. I'm going to get inside of here and recycle this tarp and two rope, then I'm going to focus on getting a bow going. Alright, let's knock down this tree, just like the tutorial taught us, guys. We know how to play the game now. See, but what Russ doesn't tell you how to do is how to hold the, uh, a shit in as, like, you're getting started. So I guess that it's just left up to one person, and I'm that person that has that knowledge, alright? I hold the sacred knowledge. So what do you do? You just have to tell your mind, guess what? You can't go to the bathroom right now, whether if you want to or not. And then guess what? Your ass is going to hop into overdrive. And, well, you won't have to go as badly, okay? You'll be able to go once you get a base down, though. Don't worry. Or I guess if you're a little bitch, then you can go over to the safe zone and sit in there, okay? I was, I don't know, like, I was thinking yesterday about where I want to live this wipe, and I was thinking on the water for oil rig, but I'm really thinking about dome over there. Dome sounds like fun, dude. It's a, it's a really fun place to play at. It's, uh, I love getting into fights there, like, inside the monument. It's always a lot of fun early game. And I haven't lived there in quite some time. All right, we have all the stone that we're going to need for our base. Do I just, do I try and live by the tutorial, guys? I don't know. I feel like I should. I mean, like, to a degree. Like, I'm not going to place down my TC furnace and bag like I'm two years old. I think that a grown man that's cross-eyed would place down those things better than in the tutorial. Oh, my God. I got to fucking go right now. Done, done, done. Control your body with your mind, all right? Alright, time to do just what we learned, guys, alright? Okay, TC will be over here in this back corner, I guess. Right there, yes. Um, okay, base is down, I will be right back. I'm gonna fly to the Bahamas and talk to the women there. What the fuck are you saying, Dylan? You fly to the Bahamas and talk to the women there, like... The shit that just randomly leaves my mouth, guys. Okay, let's go to make a small box, which I never learned how to do in the tutorial, but I have the knowledge. I have the sacred knowledge, guys. Okay, I'm gonna get out here and I'm gonna uh, get some more wood. We're gonna be rocking a 2x2, two two, like in the tutorial, but it's not, I mean, I'm not gonna make it as bad as the tutorial one. <laughs> and, uh, by the way, I do have BPs on this server, just so we all know. So, yeah, I think that I mentioned that when I was looking over the update. Okay, double wood door, key lock on the way, alright?
How have I already been recording for an hour and 20 minutes? That is crazy. Alright, well, after farming probably about like 10 nodes, we have all this right here. Not too shabby. Get a little bit of components as we're out here too, because we're just, you know, we're adults and we can multitask. Oh my gosh, dude. Yes, give me these cloth components, game. Yes! We're actually about to start starving, so let's take out our survival skills that Jack taught us and make a campfire and get to cooking up some food, huh? Alright, campfire, dead center, right there. I like that. Then boom. We are surviving, that's what this is. And I don't even have a bag inside my base yet, and I only have three cloth, so... I think it's time for us to just take all of our components and just, uh, I don't know, just make some sort of run to, like, a supermarket or something to recycle and pick up more components along the way, I assume. It, it, Jack is laying on the ground dead on that island because I didn't leave him uh, chicken to eat, so... I'm just gonna go recycle, mind my business... All right, we have our first survivor. Jack taught us well. We got him. All right, guys. Yeah, I'm going to have a bag down over here as well. I'm seeing, like, a large furnace cooking over there. I'm seeing two different vehicles. This is not good. I'm seeing this door shut, which is also, like, very strange. Dude, I just not got the shivers, dude. Yeah, there's literally a roof camp tower right there, like a two-by-two -two roof camping spot to just look at the recycler, it looks like. That's what that has to be for. Actually, I think that I'm going to be keeping my uh, gears early wipe, too, just because I have BPs on here. So we can make garage doors the moment that we put down a tier 2. Now that we have a little bit more rad protection from killing that guy, we need to hit up dome. I mean, I don't see any crates up there. That actually is the good thing about our base spot. We can see when the crates are up there. So, oh, man, where should the furnace go? I want to put it down, like, right there, but my bag is just, like, barely in the way. So I'm going to put it down, I guess, like... I guess back here, sure. All right, we have a uh, furnace going. Jack would be proud. Uh, yeah, all right, it's dome time. Now, is there going to be crates going up yet? Oh, man, I don't know. I think they're all going to be looted. Yeah, done. There's no crates inside of here. More sewing kits, dude. Yes. The man himself. Is a fucking compound bow for me, bro. Oh my god, and he moved left! Fuck you, bro! Okay, he just not tried to go for the standstill. Jack would be disappointed in you, bro. Linden. Alright, man, we got a compound bow now. What's up? Dude, if I could flame raid the top of this right here, we could get, like, a bunch of shit, maybe. Oh, no, it's already a wood door up here. Oh. Dude, there are so many good flame rate opportunities, guys. I'm going to have to try flame rating today. There's a drop box on the base, too. I mean, come on. Yeah, we just need to speed run do a tier 2 bench right now. That's that's the main goal, for sure. Oh, God. Oh, God. That is just bad. Hey, I'm just getting started, man. Why can you not be friendly? Damn it, man. I should have hit him with the karate kick that Jack taught me. Fucking knew that I barely heard a footstep, dude. Damn it! I'm gonna look at that as like our bad luck run of the day where I just run in like face first to it, dude. Oh my god! Oh, Jesus, dude! It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I'm not gonna die. Jack taught me how to survive. I need to name the guy on that island Jack. It's a perfect name for him. Alright, here's my body. Okay, okay, okay. He left a lot of the stuff. He left a lot of it like a nice guy. Okay, I can respect that. Yeah, let's just turn off the lights here. Okay. I like... Dude, this actually looks like a horror game right now. I feel like Slender Man's about to come out and start chasing me. Got another 478 cloth. A little bit of crude oil. Green key cards. A little bit of scrap. I actually forgot to recycle the propane tank. I'm going back. Alright, we're back home, man. We're back home. Dude, it looks so nice inside your base at dark, man. Wow. This almost... I don't know, it just doesn't feel right. And then let me actually just see, are the dome crates respawned yet? Oh yeah, they are, man. They're up there and we gotta get up there ASAP. Let's just get this other furnace down, then we can go. Alright, there we go. First crate's not here. Wait, maybe it's only the green crates that are respawned then. Oh shit, okay. I wanna say that I'm alone here. Yeah, I should be. 
seeing some crates in here. Cool. All right, first dome run. What all are we going to get? That is a beautiful first box, man. Wow. All right. Great. Fuse. Basic. Okay. Got the green crate down there. I don't know. Do I get a tier two gun from green crates? I get two tier two guns. Watch this shit. Okay. Watch me get two. It's going to be a P2 and a Tommy. All right. Now, this is going to be included in the video no matter what. Okay. I didn't just edit that in or anything. It's just, yeah, it's just what's going to happen. Okay. So not that great. Okay, we just got Python. Large Furnace, okay. And then last but not least. Boop! Okay. What's crazy is that this thing probably has the same odds as a gun. Alright. Um, yeah, don't get a sheet door made, by the way. What the fuck are you doing? I'm sorry, Jack didn't teach me! Alright, sheet door down. We're now flame raid proof. Okay, guys. I'm gonna go over to water treatment now, I guess. See if there's any crates there. Uh, because again, like I'm just, I'm just gonna be trying to speed run to a tier two bench. All right, so I was throwing some snowballs again, and I pulled something in my arm again. I think it was a different muscle this time because I wasn't under throwing the snowballs because I wasn't really throwing them to the dogs. I was just throwing them at uh, our garage. So I was just, I don't know, like I was trying to just get like some nice, like long range throws in. So I was like, I was throwing it with with a good amount of power, right? And like I don't throw snowballs like much. Yeah, my arm is uh, a little bit messed up once again. Yeah, we're definitely going to get everything that we need on this run, without a doubt. Oh, shit. I'm seeing a guy right now to my left on the road. Looks like he has a bucket helmet and a tank top and flip-flops. Oh, shit, dude. Oh, my God, Dylan. Oh, can you fucking die? Why do you use the bow to start out in a bow fight, Dylan? We don't get you. We really don't understand you. Use the karate kick that Jack taught you, Dylan. What are you doing? Yep, there he is. He doesn't even really, like, know what he's doing either. He's just like... Nice job, man. You're pretty good. Of course, he's like a shit talker, too. He doesn't even seem good. Oh, my God. Hey, congratulations on the run, dude. Nice shots. The only reason that I just now told him good job is to just try and get some stuff back. That was the only reason. I fucking despise that guy. I actually can't believe that I just now did what I did right there. Tony Dylan, karate kick from Jack. I don't know what the fuck you're doing, dude. <gasps> Wait. What the fuck? What the fuck is going on? Wait, what's this guy's name? It's definitely not Maxie Dylan. Joe? What the fuck happened to you, Joe? What? Okay, okay. Well, I mean, I'll take it, I guess. That helps. <laughs> I just got 52 high call back. 72 scrap, some components. I mean, okay. Call that a gift from the Rust Gods, I guess. I was just now about to say back there, though, that it's just like, after some of these deaths, I actually feel like I deserve to be punished. Like, I deserve a belt to the ass or something. There's still hope that we can fucking flame raid. All right. <laughs> I can't believe that Joe was just dead on the side of Dome. That's just like, what are the odds of that just not happening after I have such a shitty, like, embarrassing death? You know, like, what are the odds that, like, we get some shit back that helps us? We got fit, like, because I was going back home with, like, 30 high qual, right? Like, 32 high qual, which was enough to make a tier 2, but then, fr like, from his body, he had, like, 50-something. That dude's body is helping us, like, rebound from our death right now, like, like a lot, and... I don't even understand, like, the placement of his dead body where he died. Like, I really don't get it. Unless he, like, went up there to loot the place naked. And then he got a hazmat suit, like, halfway up. But then as he got down all the way back down to the ground, he died of the rads that he got as he was going up. But I don't know. That's kind of what I'm thinking happened. Because it wasn't fall damage, I don't think. He was too close to the refinery for that to be, like, fall damage. Unless he really just jumped off the structure toward the refinery. I don't know. All right, tier two can go down right there. Tier one inside the box. All right. I'm just imagining me just walking into one of these uh, oil refinery shacks and Maxine is just in there camping somehow. Up here's Joe's dead body. and Poor Joe. <laughs> See, like, with where his dead body's at, like... Did he jump from up there? Like, I don't know. He didn't just, like, jump from here to down here. There's just no way. So, like... Up 
paddle. Ugh. Look at that tosh right there, guys. That form. I need Maxine to come out and play, alright? Me and him can have a fun P2 versus Python fight. Sounds like a blast. <laughs> The shit that I do, man, it, it, like, it is shit that not even a 100-hour player would do, guys. I can't stop thinking about it. It's so ridiculous. Okay, it's time for it to start getting wild, my friends. Here we go. All right, what is the second door behind this? I'm seeing a bag right there. Okay, it's another wood door. That's big, all right. Okay, this is... Sir, why do you get on this game for a minute and then get off? Literally 60 seconds is all this guy plays. Alright, yeah, what's all in here? Okay, alright, alright. Let's go again, though. Let's go again. I will get juice. I will. It's a wood door. And I just now misclicked because I'm a silly-ass goose. And my cleaver just despawned, I guess, in there. Alright. All right, let's get inside of here now. All right. Oh, okay. A furnace. Okay, 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 okay. I like this. Empty, empty, pretty much empty, empty, empty. Okay, this is terrible. Okay, all right. Just get in here. Let's get in here. Everything's inside the TC, Don. okay? And, like, why are these guys not logged out inside their bases either? That's another thing. Okay, 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 okay. What in the fuck, game? That's fine. Let me just, uh, let's go to the other base that has a code lock on the top wood door, okay? Yeah, one, one moment here. We'll see where this leads us. Is there double door frames in here? No. Aw, oh, yes, right here. I feel like it's gonna let me down and I'm gonna have access to that square and this square, but then it's gonna be a sheet double door to get all the way in. There's a staircase. Wait a fucking second here. Okay, so it enters in through there, and then it goes around. Okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. So then it would still be a, a single sheet door and then a double door to get into the core as well, so. Okay, okay, okay. Flame Raids are starting off about as shitty as they possibly could. I really want to get a kill like that at some point with a train. I've yet to do it with a train. I've done it with cars, but not with a train. What did I actually just get him down to right there? UNA. 65 to 0. Wait, so I did drop someone. I think there was still a second guy alive on it then. Damn. I'm out here in the desert looking for answers, man. I feel like Hobson from Illmind 7. That's what it feels like out here. I mean, on the bright side, don't. If you ever want, you can just go back to the tutorial island and hang out with Jack. He's always there for you. But at, no, no, he's not. I did not leave him food to survive. He's on the ground dead right now, without a doubt. <laughs> Fuck you, man. I see someone saying in my Discord, I'm gonna get shots of paddle for his birthday. Well. Just don't, I mean, you can get that for me, just don't be surprised if you see it in like, you know, on like a light pole outside your house one day. I just not heard someone on a horse up here. He's right there. Johnny? Okay. You're not who I thought you could have been, okay? You are not that person. Where's your gun at now? Johnny. Where is it? Right there. Okay. 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 Well, we got Johnny, guys. We got him. He also had a P2 that he found that's, like, really weak, so. Alright. Another barrel down. Let's keep it going. You gotta give me, like, one okay flame rate, okay, game? Just one. It's okay. Okay. It's a wood door. Alright. Good. <laughs> Sorry, I'm thinking back to my death again with that one guy, Maxine. Alright, there's nothing in the first square. That's a... I love that. I love that sign. Okay, the same old, same old. A base with four berry seeds. Okay. This is, again, like the fourth base in a row in my area where someone grinds up all the stone for it, puts down a wood door, literally gets off, never gets on. And how is this TC not broken from a Molotov landing on top of it? I don't even know if I even care to use a Molotov on that TC. I really don't think that I do. 
<laughs> Sorry, I'm thinking about that death again. I'm thinking about the death again. There's just nothing that I feel like I'd rather do when I think about that than just giggle. Oh my god, dude. It's not only gonna be this door, guys. Oh my god. He whiffed the fucking DB shot, man. He whiffed the DB shot, you hear me? Ladies and gentlemen, we have got a situation on our hands. Erlene, I'm so sorry, brother. Dude, he is probably so sad. Oh my god. I almost feel bad for the, for the guy. Is this TC unlocked? No, it's not. Okay. It's all good. We have the perfect amount of mollies for this. Um, TC. Whoo, come on, man. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Okay, so now I need to get out of here. And getting out of here, it's like, it's not like the hardest thing to do in the world or anything, but I can't just walk out, obviously. That much is known. Why does it just not place? Okay, thank you. Yeah, pretty much what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick up this box right now. And I'm just going to place down this box, like, right... Oh, yeah, I say, like, right here. I should be able to loot that from the outside. Then pretty much I'll key lock it. And then, yeah, let's just move everything into it now, okay? All right, we're going to spawn outside, and we're going to get the stuff, okay, guys? Oh, I just not fucking hurt him. I can't, I can't reach it! I can't reach it, and I can't get back in there! I'm just going to walk up here and just, uh, just simply loot right now, okay, guys? That's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to walk up here and just loot the stuff. Everything's fine, everything's fine. Simple death, he can't loot the box himself, all right? We locked it anyway. So even if he could, like, get close enough to hit E on it, he couldn't do it, okay? But that's the issue, Don. There's not a TC inside the fucking base, and he can place down a bag on the inside. You motherfucker! Okay, all right, whatever, you win, game. You win, you win. <laughs> did he Did he have Molotovs on him already to destroy the wood door, or, like, what happened? I guess so. I don't even know what to say or think about that. I'm going to upgrade my base, get some garage doors down and all that, and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Thank you very much for joining me today on this uh, just phenomenal wipe day, you know? That was, that was something else right there, guys. Oh, it was something else, all right. Yeah, I'll see you in the next one, okay? Tomorrow's gonna be fucking phenomenal, okay? You just get ready. You just get ready. We're gonna be getting the good flame raids. We're gonna be... We're gonna do our first satchel raid tomorrow, and it's gonna be good. Whether if I get raided or not, I'm doing a satchel raid tomorrow. I can tell you that. Yeah, I'll see you then. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you happen to enjoy yourself, feel free to subscribe and drop a like on the video. Thank you, in return. And, uh, yeah, man. We'll be back tomorrow for episode two, so... Um, oh, yeah, and if you made it here to the end of this video, comment the word stone. And yeah, bye.